Hello and welcome back to the North, the most glorious of kingdoms. The fire of dragons. What, what do you mean disease? Oh, it's down there. Whoa, 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 it's over here. We have a lot of trade between here and Bravos. Between Bravos and us, whatever I'm trying to say. Yeah, yeah, that's potentially concerning. Oh well. So is me not being married to a diddly kid. How am I going to ever make it on YouTube and Hollywood if I don't marry some teenage girl here? There's a few options. But that's fine, we, we don't need anything like that. We uh, we miss our dear wife. She died quite a while ago now, though. One of our glorious sons is over here. Another glorious son is dead. Daughter was still born. We have one child living with us, and he is pretty fucking useless. There's not much I can do about it. I can maybe have him make a mercenary company, go off and do stuff that way. I mean, that is one use for him. In fact, let's do it. Similar mercenary company, boy. Torren of Winterfell Band. Off you go. Oh, uh, well, he's not a court jester. We'll uh, replace him as a commander. With Rickon Flint, you are the best man for the job. You really are. Yes, put f uh, Flint in there. Oh, we'll just watch Flint. Good. Not another guy from up here. These guys, they've been producing lots of great warriors recently. And I can't really complain of that. Anyway, yeah, gets him out of bat. He needs something to do. He's pretty useless. We can send him equipment, troops. What does he even have? Mercenaries. He has over a thousand men, a little bit of equipment. Yeah, we'll just leave him to it. You know, let, let's send him a little bit. Send him some troops. Send him some soldiers, just a hundred men. And we'll send him some equipment. So, heavy infantry, pikemen. Yeah, we'll send him, you know, have him get some pikemen. Sure. So, uh, yeah, good for him. He's going to have some pikemen. Terrific. And uh, we can use him whenever. It just gives him something to do. He's got a child or two, and they're not really useful. Brandon is the heir, and he's nowhere near us. Could we actually assign a guardian for him, get him over here? Yes, we could. I'll take him. And there's the other one, Aaron. I don't. Their mother remarried to Mandalay, of all things. Oh, God. Yeah, you, you do whatever you want, uh, Aaron Northman. You, you just go hang out over there. Next, and he has accepted it. Well, good. We'll try and, uh, Jane, you have a weekend, boy. Hopefully, you come of age before I, uh, pass away. Point Pros, I'll see it done. He wants to be designated. You know what? Sure, he is. He's good at the job. Mandalay, can be trusted, I'm sure. See, his other house is always betraying us. Glovers and such. Oh, I want that guy dead so bad. Right, uh, Ransom Franklin of the Crossing. I don't know. He's been in jail a while. Maybe we could. Yeah, let's just release him. For shackles, of course. Doesn't like us too much. Been in jail quite a while. Eh? Oh, I got excited then. I thought maybe he had died, but... I guess not. Oh, wait, uh, just move words. No, 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 no. I want to see my guy. Ooh, Rickon, you're still alive. My dear sister's died, though. I still have Donna, one of my siblings. And Jora, I think he's lying. No, 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 there is. Jora does have descendants. Good for him. The Hand of Chaos. We have had reports from the Lang that God Empress Glita has fallen to madness. Unsealing the entrance to the labyrinths of the Old Ones and taking on the names Harbinger of Destruction and Hand of Chaos. Since this mad woman released Death and Destruction incarnates, Leng has been consumed with plagues, revolts, butcher leaders, and unspeakable horrors. From above, the Hand of Chaos looks upon madness itself. Burnt land, bloody rivers, and daily sacrifices. Every sailor and adventurer sailing around Leng can feel an ominous aura around the island. Many heroes have tried to kill the very reason of the madness, the Hand of Chaos, and all failed. There's only one solution. Reseal the entrances, yes, but how would you do such a thing? I don't claim to be a lord at this bit. Uh, finally finds his way back home in Moors. Yeah, sure, let, let's see who this Moors individual is. Old friend of ours. Should be at the bottom, yes. Moors of the Arsenal. Moors the Clueless. <coughs> Sorry, just cleared my throat there. Moors... Arsenal, sure. 
You can be a Gunners fan. Arsenal, the Arsenal colours is more of a red. There you go, you can have the white I guess. No, 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 gold. There's no cannon, is there? No. Some fucking plants. It's near enough. Um, You know what, just, just have that. How's Arsenal? Terrific. Can't fight, no real use for you. Do we have any women who need a husband? No, we have a few. She's 33, you can have her. Actually, the other one was lowborn and a bit younger. Do you like 14 year olds? Are you a uh, Hollywood director? Tyreen Holt? Sure. She's relevant, relevant, isn't she? Holt? No. No, she's not. Oh, well. well, she's married off now to some clueless man who doesn't know what he's doing. What is this? Goro. Ah, of course. Alright, Leng, what do we just do with you then? Can't do anything. Well, let's not bother then, eh? Let's just leave him to their things. Ah, good news. Some stewardship for Roderick of the North. Good for you, boy. I guess we could do the Great Council, but he is my son's son, so he should be the, the guy. Your Grace, we have had reports from Leng that the God Emperor Sun High has had the entrance to deliverance on Leng resealed with thick stone, in much the same way Emperor Jar had did hundreds of years ago. The people have reported the maddening whispers have faded. It seems the old ones have finally been tombed away from the world again. And their scourge of madness. I guess defeated. Next one, what is this? Who's up to no good? Is it... How's the matter? Oh, I've... Well, I'm dead. You have a new heir. <laughs> Aaron of Bravos is the heir to the realm. My twin brother. Of course, this is going to go well. You have two two kings. Oh, well, he's not a king, but... Two people in charge of realms. King Brandon has taken his last breath at the age of 60. He died a natural death. A just man. Brandon sought fairness in life. Surely the gods will look favorably upon him. King Brandon XIV, merely nine years old. The realm is left in the capable hands of this uh, regions and council. Long live King Brandon XIV. So be it. Well, I guess this is probably going to be the last episode then. We'll have him honoured with a funeral, and uh, all the lord lords and ladies of the realm can be invited. We are very, very rich. I guess because my father died while I was relatively young. Excellent. Court chaplain, uh, Tyler, you can have that position. I am the king, and I will uh, do nothing. Apparently, I can't afford to build that. But I am the king, so uh, let's get to it. It's the king in the north, the king in the north. King Brandon has been crowned. Invitations have been sent to Lords and Ladies of the Realm to come to the funeral. It's time to prepare for the feast and the funeral itself. Excellent. I do have a half brother. What can we do with him? Nothing. Oh. The best part about preparation, preparing a feast is deciding what food stuff to serve. Well, I'm nine years old. We'll spend lavishly. We'll hire the correct individuals. Yes. All the guests have arrived at Winterfell, and it is now time to start the feasting to celebrate the life of King Brandon XIIA Stoke. I'm not even going to claim to know what that number actually is. Priest. Oh, Darren. When the feast uh, begins, Lord Galbert Ironsmith presents a petition before the court. He says the crime and banditry in Blue Hills is increasing. Fine, we can send, uh... Galbert? No, 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 we'll send, uh, Edwin. How to deal with this man's trouble? Good work, Edwin. Terrific man. Lord Bolton has the same issue, but uh, we'll try again. Sibel spoke up and told everyone how great the food at the feast was. I was really glad someone was kind enough to say something nice about the food, given how much hard work me and nine-year-old had put into it. Of course. Lord Edwin uh, organized a group of men to tackle the bandits. The Master of Coin of Winterfell has presented to court at least damages caused by a weir built by the people of Whitegate on the river of your demenses, which has caused great loss of coins and treasury. Ah, uh, we'll bear the losses. You committed much gold to this extravagant feast. In particular, the guests were impressed with a large centerpiece on the uh, dais table. It represented a green lawn surrounded with large peacock feathers and green branches, to which were tied violets and other sweet smelling flowers. In the middle of this fortress was placed, covered with silver. The fortress was hollow and formed a sort of cage in which several live birds were shut up, their tufts and feet being gilt on its tower, which was gilt the banners of House Star were placed. Alright, great. Another petition. Great, I'll send the man over to deal with it. Good work. 
Another pot Edwin, get out there and deal with this. Edwin, you're really the MVP at the moment. Three days have gone by since King Brandon passed, and the body was cleaned, prepared for burial, and wrapped in a shroud and laid at the base of Wayward Tree. Kif and close kin of the dead arrived mourn, which each placing offerings for the dead about the body. As darkness draws in, the gathered party make their way to the godswood as the eldest kinsman, hooded and cloaked in heavy linen, proceeds forward and enters carrying the runic wayward staff. Everyone pre presents, uh, everyone present sets their eyes downcast, fearful of glimpsing the staff. The staff is put to the body to measure them, the kinsman whispers to the body before departing. As soon as the ritual is concluded, those closest to the dead gather up the body and carry it to the grave where they offer their final farewells. Goodbye. Goodbye, old man. What's this? He's inherited this now, is he? And I guess I don't have a intrigue anymore to try and kill him off. No. What's this? Your jailers seek your audience, where they're all covered in blood. With them, they have your captive, Barbary Snow, in chains. They stay. They say a band of armed men broke into cells. And she's just a four-year-old girl. Put in a secure dungeon. I'll have her released. She's four years old. Ransom at all? No, just, just release her. He's still alive, your tray, uh, your grace. News from King's Landing of a trial by combat. King Harry's Targaryen demanded a trial by combat from his captain, King Harry's Targaryen. Wait, what? He was defeated at the hands of his opponents, Lord. He was released as showman. What? He called himself a trial of combat, and he had himself fight this man who defeated him, and he gave himself mercy. Okay. This is madness. He's, this is why we must rid the... Uh, Contents of these dragon wielders. We demand reconversion, of course. We will not have such things. There will be consequences, of course. The consequences of you being asked to leave my court. Get out of here. You, there's no reason for you to even be here. Yeah, Arthur Dane was useful, but he's at the Night's Watch. You guys stopped being useful long ago. You as well. Get out of my court. You foreigners. Oh well. Everyone's, uh, do I do? I should, as a ten year old monarch, I should look at the available women of the north. See if there's anybody, uh, who could potentially be a, a good queen one day. Well, I have a kinswoman, Sansa. There's a Lady Reed. But there is a Stark, a hunchback of a Stark. Huh. Sansa, how are we. She was only a relative. She wasn't close enough to be a cousin, so I'm sure we could get away with it. Yeah. That just appears to be the best option. It's not really in breeding, it's just distant relatives with the same name. Uh, there is also a Lady Paul. No, we'll uh, we'll find that Lady Stark again, wherever the hell she's gone off to. There she is, Sansa. Of course. We'll arrange uh, a betrayal. Oh, it's your daughter. Is it your heir? No. Jocelyn's your heir, and she's mar married to a Peasbury. Winifred, Sansa, Wyler. Yeah, Sansa, you, you'll do. The Hunchback. Actually, no, could we go with Wyla? She's not a Hunchback. Uh, the Hunchback, cousin. Uh, I changed my mind. Could we break this betrayal? I am, you know, ten years old. So, uh, ig ignore my lack of diplomacy. Can I arrange betrayal with this one instead? Princess Wyla, yeah. Yeah, we'll go with that one. Good man. So did I get a bit of yeah, I broke betrayal, we'll pretend to claim it. It's it's a shame, but I'm a how old am I again? A ten year old kid. What is this, Your Grace? I write on behalf of the Iron Bank of Bravo to so express the uh whatever about the actions of your twin brother, Lord Parent Aaron Stark. They have failed to pay the due or interest on a loan. I'll pay it. God damn it, brother, why can't you keep up with your debts? Why can't you arrest Lord Frey? Oh. My court reader does not like me so much. I believe you are the regent, Lord Rash, so if we should make you hand of the king. Can we uh, do that here? 
exchange cancel job? Is that not a thing? No. Well, I, I thought there was a way to just simply switch them around, but I would make him hand of the king, but I, I guess I can't. So we won't. Really? Colonization on all stones? Your grace, look port, try by combat. Looks like uh, Lord Swan is dead. <laughs> Good for him. After supper, me and Steven were supposed to help do the dishes, but Steven hid the dirty dishes and wants to go play instead. Steven. Yeah, let's become close friends with this kid. Why not? Maybe marry his sister. Genius. Uprisings down there. Oh yeah, quite some uprisings. Hey you. I'm born. Can we uh, do anything with you at all? Claim Wickham. Claim Wickham in the name of the crossing. Well, it's, it's something. It is definitely something. Who's my master of the army? Master of the army is Lord Bra Stark. He's a brave man. And you have a house of Frey, Ruffles, so that's a bit lunatic. Uh, it's not the time to go to war. The realm is uh, the realm is going through a child monarch at the moment. It's not really the time. And uh, there's been a bit of an outbreak of the bloody flux, so we're going to shut the gates here and going to spend our youth inside the castle. I guess no countryside for us. Just a car. What position is that? Uh, Master of Lords. We'll, we'll give it to uh, Elard Paul of Old Castle. He's a good man. No blood relatives of the past sovereign stands as the office heir to New Gis, leaving the succession unclear. Therefore, I have decided to use my powers as Lord Protector to crown myself. Good for you, King Mizgal. Ah, oh, for a crowl, it is too late for him out. Never liked that kid. Who's this? Elard. It's too late for him out. What is this? Inherited a castle with Drink Gate, self guard. Whatever. Um, yeah, we'll order people to stand down. He's Dan Bolton's always trying to luck. It's not great, is it? Disease, you're gonna go away. Do we even have a hospital here? We should invest in one if we can. Yeah, let's build a refuge. An excellent man of great military talent has turned up. With no eye and no way to bodyguard me. Well, we... We're an affectionate child, so what we're gonna do with this affection, we're gonna spend our treasury just building some refuges, you know? Within our own personal duchy, we'll build some refuge. Because we're a good kid. We really are a good kid. So spend a load of money on refuges. We'll be King Brandon, the builder of refuge. For castles, who died? Time for a proper education, what have I become? What education did they give me? Oh no, I get to give it still good. Well, it should be Marshall, please. And I'll spend very highly on myself. I need to learn how to do things. My educator is myself. Let's change that. I need a guardian. Somebody in the court be best? You're quite a good man. But you're not in the court. Hmm. Lord of Last Half. Ricard Carstar, quite a diplomat. Jonas, you are seclusion with their court. Yeah, where's secluded in White Harbor? Uh. What about Moors? No, we'll just uh, go uneducated for now, I guess. Oh, this is uh, really ravaging our lands. This disease. Oh, standing on the balcony, a sudden shivering overcomes you. Something is wrong. Turning around, a hooded man stands only inches away from you. Valar Magulis, the man says, and it is the last thing you hear before hitting the ground. What? King Brandon has taken his last breath at the age of 12. He died under suspicious circumstances. Lost to us far too soon. Brandon died at the age of only 12. May the boy find more luck of the gods. King Aaron, merely 12 years old, the realm is left in the capable hands of the regent in the council as another 12 year old takes over. And I don't care what these people think. I have a new heir, and it is uh, Torin of the North, who cannot be trusted. 
My twin brother does deserve a funeral, but only the Stark family will be invited. And again, my rule must stabilize. Uh, but I'm bank bravos, concern you failed to pay that. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, that wasn't how I thought this was going to end. I have a couple of half siblings. Ah, oh, diplomatic folk. Can I change it? No. Oh, damn, I'm going to be a diplomat, it seems. And I, uh, I have Bravos, which I do need to give out. And you are the, uh, the candidate makes the most sense, Torrin. So, uh, I guess we'll give you the High Lordship of Bravos. And the Kingdom of Bravos. Lord of Paramount, Torrin of Bravos. Yeah. Hopefully you can be trusted not to kill me. Little son, Roderick. Hopefully rain and such, but... We're gonna. Hmm. We're gonna leave it on this note. I do want to start a new campaign with the new version of the mod, so I'm gonna leave this one here. We can just sort of. Leave it to your imagination, whatever happens next. But <laughs> it's uh, quite the ending. The king was killed, long live the king. So uh, I'll see you guys in the next campaign. I hope you've enjoyed this one. If you do want to show your support for the channel, there is a Patreon link down below. Where even a few dollars a month goes a very long way in the sporting creation of good quality content on the channel. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.